100 FM, The Pike, three doors down. It's 834, and this coming Saturday, the uh, the Worcester Railers have a very special game. Actually, they got a spe- couple of special games coming up here. And in the studio right now, uh, you've been dubbed the head hockey dude. That is your new title, according to Adam Webster. I gave HHD. I couldn't remember the official title. ADHD. So like, ADHD. ADHD. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Head hockey dude. <laughs> <laughs> Head hockey dude Mike Myers from your Worcester Railers. He runs the show over there, and uh, so you got a couple of big games going on. So let's tomorrow morning. There's a game, and this is for the elementary school kids here in the Worcester Public School System. Right? Yeah, it's our school day game, which has become an annual tradition, and mm-hmm. uh, it's uh, Adam can attest. It's <laughs> probably the highest pitched game you'll hear. As far as uh, the, the if you've never been are. to a new kids on the block contest, it's the closest thing I could think of. Uh, it's just a very high pitched squeal of, uh, of of young kids at uh, grades K through six just enjoying hockey. Yeah, it's all it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a way for a lot of these kids that uh, may not get a chance to come to a game um, mm-hmm. with their families on a, a you know during the season. Get them out to a Railers game, introduce them to the DCU Center, which is such a big part of the downtown scene here in Worcester, to uh, just invite them in and, uh, you know, provide access to kids that, uh, and also uh, provide a, a little bit of a uh, educational, you know, piece to it, including um, WPI this year as a sponsor. Yeah, yeah. They've added some STEM elements to the, uh, to the programming. So they add a little twist, uh, make it, make it fun. You know, make the make it so that the uh, the kids enjoy themselves, sort of get a get a taste of the DCU Center and uh, and Railers hockey. That's great that the whole community kind of is involved here. WPI, I know Hanover is Han- Hanover Insurance pays for the transportation. Yeah, right? we have and, we have a number of different uh, of sponsors that uh, that contribute into into the game just to make it happen. Because yeah. uh, you know, one of the first things when approaching the the idea of doing a um, uh, a school day game with the school with Maureen Vignenda and uh, and uh, Worcester Public Schools was that you know a lot of times these these uh, field trips kids can't go even if it's a five dollar right. nominal yeah. fee so we we've taken that off the table nice. if if there's the need yeah uh, transportation is provided we have you know like I said we have a number of great sponsors uh, Hanover uh, Amazon Abby have all contributed nice. uh, to make sure that this game gets off the ground and uh, kids are able to go free of charge if needed so it's tomorrow morning at uh, at 10 a.m and uh, which is a great time for for us like for yeah. me especially I can just finish up here and stroll over watch a hockey game that's kind of a treat for me too um, but then Saturday it's a really it's a really big night because you get a lot of stuff going on and and most importantly the teddy bear toss is happening. On Saturday night, and that goes to benefit uh, the Friendly House. That's that correct. Right? Yeah. yeah. So we we uh, again another uh, yearly tradition, annual t- tradition, uh, especially during the holidays. We love to have our teddy bear toss, and even last year, Fidelity Bank stepped up and uh, and we did one a virtual. Well, actually, it wasn't even virtual; it was a drive up uh, at the Worcester at the Fidelity Bank Worcester Ice Center. We did uh, a teddy bear toss. Mm-hmm. It's that important. We we combined it with a toy drive. Uh, with our booster club and uh, and try to really you know fill the fill the bags of uh, goodies for the friendly house families. So this is the only time you're allowed to throw anything on the ice during a Railers game. That's incorrect. We actually oh, really? have Chuck a Puck too. Oh no, that's true. We mentioned <laughs> Chuck a Puck this morning. <laughs> Normally, I make the announcement before right. every game. Please, no throwing anything on the ice, right. or we will ask you to leave. But in this right. case, uh, you, you're asked to bring a, a stuffed animal, a right. teddy bear. They will also be sold at the merch stand. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so we'll have plenty of uh, uh, stuffed animals available for purchase, nice. and, uh, and we also have a nice uh, uh, ticket deal uh, on at RailersHC.com. Four tickets, four hats. I think sixty dollars. Yep, yep. So um, you know that uh, we like to encourage as many people to bring their stuffed animals, get excited, and when the first goal, first Railers goal happens, uh, we uh, we encourage everybody to throw their their bears on the ice. Any and a, and a kind of a related question: Has there ever been an octopus thrown on the ice at the DCU Center? <laughs> this is not Detroit, so <laughs> the answer would be no. Okay, okay, just checking. Just Maybe checking. a big worm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember the goaltender a couple of years ago picking up this almost human-sized doll, which made a great photo. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. that? E- Evan Beitenheis. Yes. Yeah, Boots, uh, Boots picked up a massive uh, teddy, teddy bear. bear that was uh, thrown over, and, and yeah, that became sort of a, 
it, one of these viral pictures that was uh, yeah, it was just one of those captured the moment right. kind of neat neat uh, neat photograph. And then there's a little bit of hockey history happening Saturday night at the there DCU is. Center, especially for the East Coast Hockey League. Uh, the first female referee in the ECHL will be officiating, right? Yeah, so uh, Laura Schmidlin uh, will be uh, the first uh, female official to to work in the ECHL game. So nice. we're excited that it's going to happen here in Worcester. Worcester's a, a city of firsts, and yes. uh, and we like to uh, you know we like to take part in that for sure. So um, it's it's going to be exciting. The league's pumped up about it. Uh, the AHL has been spearheading a lot of the. Uh, the development uh, with the referees and mm-hmm. and uh, and have had a number of female um, linesmen uh, come on board this year. So we're excited to get uh, join in and and uh, welcome Laura to the to the ranks of the ECHL. That's great. Yeah. So you know, Mike Shue is the is the head hockey uh, dude, as we call no, him. That's Mike are. Myers. I'm Mike Shue. Mike Shue. I'm looking at Mike Shue. I'm sorry. Mike, Mike, not, not, all, I'd love to take over, Mike. All Mike's wanna... look the same. Is that what you're saying? Oh, that's right. Really? No. Uh, no. Uh, so Mike uh, Mike Myers. <laughs> yes, the, the same head, haircut. The head, the head, the same, I know. Yeah, we just have the same hockey hair. Hockey honcho, the Triple H, <laughs> the head hockey dude. Uh, but I know who really answers all the questions and gets things done. So I went straight to the top okay. uh, because you wanted to get in on the, right, uh, yeah. the, the pie eating I mean, contest. it's nice you're doing the charity thing Which and, is and great. the hockey history, but the really important thing is, am I going to be able to get I went the straight to the contest? top, and I went to the person who I know can answer this question, and I went to my longtime <laughs> uh, buddy and, and co-worker, Trax. Oh, I hate and that I guy. asked Trax, can we get Shu in the pie eating that contest? Too. And Trax can't speak, but in that unspoken language that we have, mm-hmm. uh, just the eyes. He I just know. wants Always. to shove your face it, in I, a pie again. Yeah, you know, last, last time he was there, he was shoving my face in the pie and pushing me. Yes. And, you know, and I couldn't focus. And I want to redo here. The Table Talk Pie Eating Contest. Oh, I want to redo I've heard period. about the, When you say you were going to ask the, t- the head honcho, I thought you meant Jackie. Oh, no, Jackie's the game <laughs> operations person. And no, she's big, too. But, no, I go right to the top, and I ask Trax. Right. Uh, best co-worker, never talks back, always, uh, always, always happy waving to see his, me. Always waving his hands and moving so, his head back and forth, whatever. So, Myers, can we get Shu in? Because I have a, a real heavyweight who wants to go up against I say it. let's do it. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and redeem myself here. Now, supposedly our digital guy. Um, Tim. Tim Brennan. Yes. Uh, he wants to do it too. So can we get him in now, Adam? Do a triple? At, well, Adam, no, that's the double. Oh, that's the double. Adam, that's, Adam Webster wants wants to get him in because uh, Adam Webster thinks he's a fat guy and he'll be able to beat. But me. I can't. I'm in the um, between the penalty boxes oh, in my I office. See what you're saying. So bring Tim. I got you. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah okay. I'm sure, we can make this. You know, we can make saying? this happen as long as Clack uh, tracks cleared it. I think she'd be all right. Yeah. Well, I don't. I uh, I'd like if if possible to keep tracks at least. <laughs> Ten feet away from me at all times. While his, I'm in the put his leash on. Yeah, put his leash on for crying out loud. Because that dude, <laughs> me and that dude have an issue. So it's official Saturday night. Shoe yeah, we're doing and, this. Uh, Big yeah. Tim in the pie eating contest. Nice. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Awesome. Awesome. You know, I always love a, a thing when it has free pie. <laughs> you know, so if anything, at least I'll get a free pie. So. All right, so Saturday night, that's the big game. Yeah. Uh, get your tickets in advance, but more importantly, if you are going, bring a brand new teddy bear or stuffed animal, whatever stuffed animal, but it's for, it's for the kids and it's yeah. for the friendly house who do great work in this city. And you know what? I'd be, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, it is our New England football-themed oh, right. uh, yeah. jersey mm. night. The jerseys look amazing. And uh, so we, we uh, recommend that, or we ask everybody to wear their, their favorite uh you know, Patriots gear. Nice. And after last night's game, yeah. You know that was uh, that was exciting, and uh, so I think people will be even more pumped up. And uh, it it benefits the whole night. Benefits the Shine Initiative, really oh, nice. raising awareness right. on mental health issues, Excellent. which is so important. Not just this time of year, which it is more important, but mm-hmm. uh, just after the past two years, of, you know, what we've right. been going through. So right. So it's a big game Saturday night. There's a lot going on. A lot going on. Come out and support your Worcester Railers and support your community. You can do all that at the same time Saturday night. And we'll Absolutely. Post, we'll post all that information up on our Facebook page so people can get a handle on that. Perfect. Or uh, what's the website they can go to to get RailersHC.com. RailersHC.com. All right. Mike Myers, head hockey dude of your I Worcester need Railers. Cards. <laughs> That's right. you got to get your business cards changed. Thanks a lot for coming in, man. All right, guys. And we'll see all you Saturday night. Oh, can I, can I get a lemon pie? Can I request the pie? 